It is a super exciting time to be a Pokemon fan right now. We have just had one of the biggest weeks in Pokemon history and it is only getting bigger. Now this is going to be a little different. The Space World 1997 demo of Pokemon Gold just leaked on the internet. What makes this really interesting is Pokemon Gold originally came out in Japan in 1999. This game was from two years earlier, 1997, and in this game, in the files of this game, there are so many Pokemon that were changed or just completely got scrapped and unused, and they were gone, lost from history forever until now. So today, we finally get to take a look at these Pokemon that were lost for years and just go through them, see what Nintendo decided wasn't good enough for the actual game, and see the designs that eventually became other Pokemon or just changed throughout the development. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for all these leaked Pokemon that were lost for years because we're gonna have a lot of fun going through these Pokemon designs. And this is gonna mean a lot to me especially because Pokemon Gold was my first ever video game, not just Pokemon games, so it's gonna be really interesting to see how these designs changed from when they were planned to when they actually came out. So let's start off with the start of the Johto region Pokedex with the Chikorita line. Now Chikorita looks almost the same, if not identical to the release. Bayleaf on the other hand, what in the world is that design? What are those things coming out of his head? I don't like it, I'm glad we got Bayleaf because look at it, look at Chikorita. And look at Meganium, they look kind of the same, you know, you can see the resemblance there. But what is that thing in the middle? What is that? Glad that got cut, glad that got changed, and ah, so happy to not see that one. Now the fire starter was totally different, this was not Cyndaquil, this was something way else out there. It looks like a fire lion type thing, and I do like it, it's not terrible, they're not terrible Pokemon designs, but I'm much happier with the Cyndaquil line that we got, because Cyndaquil is just, it was my first starter Pokemon, I love the design, I think it's great, although these are really cool, I love the mane, the luscious mane that this middle stage has, and the final stage looks like it would be really cool too, I think that's supposed to be like a, a mane of fire around its neck, can't really tell with the sprite detailing, but I think that's what it's supposed to be, looks kind of cool, looks like it would been a really cool Pokemon so sad I'm not that sad to see it cut because I really like Typhlosion and Cyndaquil and Quilava but they would have been okay they would have worked the water starter glad to see this one go I don't really like it at all I feel like if anything these are kind of resembling the Poplio line so maybe they went back when they were designing Poplio and looked at these old designs because you know they do that with some Pokemon a lot of newer Pokemon do take inspiration from cut designs of older Pokemon but I'm glad that this one got cut because the Totodile line is just iconic I think it looks really cool and these, these are just kind of generic, they're boring, they're not really great, especially that final stage, I'm not really a big fan of it. If anything, that one actually looks more like Samurott than, uh, you've gotta love that Beta Noctowl design. I honestly wish this one made it into gold and silver rather than the one we actually got. This one looks so cool, it looks like a Night Owl Ninja. This thing looks like it can mess you up pretty badly. I would have loved that design, that looks way better. So here we have a few cut Pokemon. So it looks like Vulpix was supposed to have a pre-evolution, that one looks really a lot like Vulpix, and so was Tangela. Both of these were supposed to have pre-evolutions, but they were just cut. They said, nope, we don't want that anymore. And it would have been interesting seeing a game with these pre-evolutions. You'll see as we go further down the list, these two weren't the only two baby Pokemon that were cut. A lot of baby Pokemon were cut from this game. And it really makes you wonder what the original game was supposed to be like. Was breeding supposed to be more of a major thing in these games? Or were these just supposed to replace the their evolutions on routes and just be more common? Who knows? And it looks like Tangrowth was originally designed for Gen 2, but was cut for some strange reason. I don't really see anything wrong with this design. I actually really like it. I think it looks pretty cool, and it would have been nice to have Tangrowth's evolution, or Tangela's evolution, all the way back in Gen 2, instead of Gen 4 when we finally got it. I like that one. Another cut Pokemon was Birdie over here. We'll just call him Birdo because it doesn't really have a name. Birdie Birdo. I can see it getting cut, I'm glad it got cut because it's just kind of generic, you know? There aren't really anything, it's nothing too standoffish about it. The back sprite is kind of cool with the whole face on it, but that's nothing new, it's nothing exciting, it's nothing crazy and out there, so I can see why it was cut. Quillfish was supposed to have an evolution? Where is this thing? Where? 
and it looks it has had a little lightning bolt on its head too so maybe it was supposed to be water and electric type they did that with lantern in this generation but that would have been kind of cool just having quillfish have an evolution maybe not water electric but i would have loved to see quillfish evolve i still would like to see quillfish evolve game freak where are you at make this thing evolve we have some more beta babies it looks like pichu cleffa and igly buff all three of these designs i'm glad they got changed because they're just kind of simple <laughs> pichu it looks probably the worst out of all of them. It looks really, really strange and sad, and it's just... It's got nothing on the Pichu we actually got. Look at those little ears. The black, it looks like they didn't even try, honestly. And next, what's interesting to me is there's no Wooper. It looks like Quagsire was just supposed to be its own thing and not evolve from anything. Not exactly sure about this one, but I think this might be Baby Goldeen because it looks a lot like Sea King. It really does. And fitting with the trend of all the other baby Pokemon that were cut in this generation, I think this might have been a Baby Goldeen. And I'm, I'm glad to see it cut. Goldeen definitely is a Pokemon that I don't really think needs a pre-evolution. Here are two more Pokemon that were cut from the actual release. It looks like we have a really awesome looking shark Pokemon and this might have been its pre-evolution. I could see that probably being what the whole relationship there was because they, they look pretty similar. I'm sad to see this one go. This would have been really cool to have in this generation, although I feel like this Pokemon became Sharpedo because it's missing the rest of the body, kind of like how Sharpedo is. It's mainly just the head and the fin, and the anchor design is really cool. I, I would have loved this design, and I love Sharpedo, but I feel like either could have worked, and it would have been really cool seeing this in Gen 2. Here's another cut Pokemon. This one looks like Huntail from Ruby and Sapphire, so it looks like a lot of these Pokemon were planned for gold and silver they decided no we're not going to use them but when they went on to make ruby and sapphire they went back and looked at these designs and improved on them and it looks kind of cool too it has the whole electric design because it looks like it might be even an electric eel with that whole thing on its head and the fins i could totally see this being electric and water as well i'm surprised they planned a pre-evolution for paris i really don't think that one needed a pre-evolution although i love the design i think it's really cool it looks like a zombie version of Paris on top of a mushroom like I'm gonna eat you nom 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 nom. Eridos looks a little different. I like the design that we actually got instead of this one. This one kind of looks like a generic spider in the head and the back the back design is really cool. I like the little angry evil face that it has but the head itself looks kind of boring and basic so I'd say that's why I'm happy with the one that we got instead of this beta design. Did you know Ditto was supposed to get an evolution in this game? That's really strange to me and I don't know, I can't see Ditto evolving into this. If anything, I feel like this would be its own standalone Pokemon. It looks a lot like uh, Sandy Ghast, I think that's the Pokemon, or Sandgast, the ghost type. I can't see this being a Ditto evolution. It looks more like a standalone Pokemon, and it looks like it would totally be a ghost type. But in the game's data, it's supposed to, Ditto's supposed to evolve into this thing. They must have had baby fever when they were making this game, because here's another baby Pokemon. This was supposed to be the baby form of Doduo and I, I don't know I could see why it was cut because it doesn't really make much sense to me the baby form has three heads it evolves to Do Doduo who has two heads and then Dodrio has three heads again so when it evolves it loses a head and then when it evolves again it gains a head just confusing hurts my little brain Sunflora looks like something straight out of plants versus zombies kind of glad they got rid of that design and Fampi why do they do this to Fampi Fampi looks so cute in the sprite look at that cute little elephant I want it I want it why did they change Fampi I mean look Fampi that we have right now is one of the cutest Pokemon and that's undeniable but this design is like 400% cuter they should have went with this so upset about that one. Girafferig was another one of those Pokemon that was supposed to have a pre-evolution I feel like it's pre-evolution was a really cool looking Pokemon I think it was it might have been ghost type not exactly sure it looks like it would be ghost type but I don't know what they were planning on doing it it would been kind of weird if a ghost type evolved into that but I feel like Girafferig's pre-evolution could have worked as, as its own standalone Pokemon, and I would have loved to see it in the game because it has a cool design, and Gen 2 really needed more ghost types. So, this, very sad to see it cut. Girafferig, on the other hand, I'm glad it got changed because look at that back sprite. Look at that thing. Imagine having one on your team catching it. You see the front, it looks all nice and everything, but then you go, you send out your Girafferig, and then you have that creepy face staring right back at you no thank you nah -uh, that would be straight to the box baby meowth looks so cute but i'm glad to see that one cut because we really didn't need it i don't think meowth is a pokemon that needs a baby form meowth is fine as a just a simple pokemon
Pokemon by itself. And I guess they really didn't like cats this generation because they cut another cat looking Pokemon, although this one I feel like it has a lot of resemblance to uh, Lipard from Generation 5, so maybe they went back, looked at this design and said, you know what, we actually do like this one, changed it up a little bit. And the evolution for this looks so cool, that would have been one of my all time favorite Pokemon, very sad to see that one cut, because look at it, it's got that, like that pose, it looks like it's ready to go ahead and scratch you up, it looks like it went really fast and really strong and I'm really sad to see that one go. Politoed's design is totally different in this one. And I don't know, I, I really do like this one because it has the resemblance to the whole poly line. It has the swirls on its stomach and that pose that it's giving you like, yeah, you want to fight? You want to fight? It looks so tough. It's sticking its chest out. It, it looks like it's ready to take on the world and I would have loved to see this version. Although I love the one that we got because the one we got looks cute, adorable, and friendly. Although this one looks like you wouldn't want to mess with it at all. So either would have worked fine for me. Lydian looks a lot like that Yu-Gi-Oh! card hard four-star ladybug of doom and really ponytail was supposed to get a baby form too it's so weird that the shell on slowbro's tail was supposed to be its own pokemon and maybe that's why it got cut because they're just like wait a second the shell on this thing's tail we're gonna make that a pokemon although i could totally see it making sense in the universe because if you think about the whole story of Pokemon Gold and Silver, Team Rocket was after those Slowpoke tails, but maybe this Pokemon would have been rare and expensive, and Team Rocket could have used the Slowpoke tails to get more of this Pokemon and sell it or something. That would have been an interesting story plot point. Even Grimer was supposed to have a baby form. I'm done. I don't want to see any more baby Pokemon. I don't want... I'm done. I'm done. Remoraid looks a little different. It has like armor on the back of it and it also has the tails a little bit different too. And Octillery, I can see, I like this design way better than the one we got. Octillery actually looks like artillery. That has that cannon nose. It looks like a tank. I wish we got that design. That one looks so cool. I don't know why they cut that. Tyrogue looks adorable. I wish we got this one. It's so cute. Look at it. It looks like it's trying so hard to be like a big champion wrestler, but it's so tiny and so cute. I just want to give it a hug and hope it doesn't punch me. Now on the other side, Hitmontop, that one looks a little weird. I'm glad this design got changed up a little bit because the mouth or whatever the thing on the bottom looks kind of like a poop shoot. I said no more baby Pokemon and now there's a baby Growlithe too. Although out of all the babies, I feel like I like this one a little bit. I feel like Growlithe could have worked as a three stage evolution line. Look at Hoppip. Hoppip has a little mustache. So cute. Skip Loom and Jumpluff, I feel like either one of them could have worked. Jumpluff looks really, really happy in this sprite, so I'm leaning towards this one just a little bit more, but I don't know. I like both of them. And now we have four more baby Pokemon. So I think the first one was supposed to be Mr. Mime's baby form, so this would eventually become Mime Jr. in Generation 4. I don't really like this design at all. It looks really strange to me. It looks kind of I'm just not a fan of it. Maybe, if anything, it looks like an ice cream cone, but it's not supposed to be an ice cream cone, but I'm really getting like major ice cream cone vibes out of this thing, and that's not good. This is not supposed to be an ice cream Pokemon. Smoochum looks a lot like Jinx. It looks almost identical to Jinx, but in a mini form, which is why I'm sure that it got changed a lot. Elekid looks kind of cool. Looks kind of cool, but the Elekid that we actually got with the arms and the whole personality, I like it a lot better. But Magby, Magby's sprite over here looks way, way better. Look at this one. It's like showing off to all the other baby Pokemon. It's like, ha, huh, you guys, I'm standing on one foot. I got my other leg in the air and the arms everywhere. This one looks so cool and has a personality and I really like it. This has got to be one of the saddest cuts that they did in this game. I can't believe that Weepin' Bell was actually supposed to go ahead and get a split evolution line like Gloom was, and it's really disappointing that they cut this design. I don't really see anything wrong with it. I feel like this totally would have worked. I It puzzles me why they got rid of this one. This totally would have fit in fine. There was another seal Pokemon. This one, I have to say, out of all the seals that we had up until this point, I feel like this one would have been my favorite because it has that little flaming ball on its nose. Like, this one shows that it's really tough. Maybe, if anything, this was supposed to be an evolution for Dugong because if it was supposed to be its own standalone Pokemon, I could see why it was cut because at this point, we already had seal and Dugong from Generation 1. The Water Starter was supposed to be a seal and, like, everything. So, I could see why they got rid of this one. Delibird looks like 
Santa just got through a really bad day. I feel like Delibird wants to retire. It doesn't want to be Santa anymore. These two, I'm so sad to see cut. They look so cool. The first stage looks kind of like Togedemaru that they eventually used in Generation 7. I could really see the resemblance there. I'm just gonna call this Togidogi and Super Togidogi. So Togidogi looked like it could have been Togedemaru. I feel like it totally could have fit in there. And the evolution to Super Togidogi looks so cool. The electric mouse I guess that's why they cut it, honestly, because it's too much like Pikachu, and they didn't want- I guess back then they didn't want to have like a Pikachu in every generation, they were already planning on Pichu, and they decided that another electric mouse would have been too much for this generation, although I really like it, I wish it made it in. The Swan Pokemon looks awesome. It looks like a superhero. It's got a little mask over its eyes covering its identity. That little thing that is in its wing, maybe it's the sword that it just brings out to use to fight its enemies. This thing looks so cool. Why did they cut it? We have two more ghost type Pokemon that they decided to cut. And I think the designs for both of them are actually really cool. I don't think it fits in that well with the rest of the Generation 2 Pokemon. Because yeah, that little like... The little uh, ventriloquist doll type thing, and then you have its evolution. I feel like they just don't fit in, and that's probably why they were cut, because they're they're different. They're very, very different. And where would you even find this in the Johto region? That's what I'm wondering. Maybe in the uh, one of the towers in Ecritique City? I don't know. Beta Blissey literally has a heart coming out of its brain. No thank you. What? Pinsir was supposed to get an evolution too? This thing almost looks like, it looks nearly identical to Mega Pinsir without the wings. So I think when they were planning out Mega Pinsir, they definitely went back to this design, looked at it a little bit, and just developed it a little more. I am so sad that this thing did not come out in Gen 2. Why did Scyther get an evolution, but Pinsir did not? That's so unfair. Now this furry thing looks like something I would see in a nightmare. The first one, maybe it's a... Uh, like, it has the Pikachu ears, which are kind of throwing me off. I can't tell what this thing would be. Maybe it's a baby Yeti? It looks like it would be an ice type to me, but the Pikachu ears are really weird. And then it's evolution, maybe it's a hedgehog? A ice hedgehog? Now you're never gonna believe what this one is. Take a guess, take one guess, write in the comment section below. What do you think this little thing with the little orbs around its head is? Do, 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 do. All right, did you take your guess? This thing was supposed to be Porygon 2. Porygon 2. This was supposed to be Porygon's evolution. I don't see it at all. Lickitung's evolution, Licky Licky, looks really, really weird in this generation. So I guess that's why they didn't go ahead and use it. I know some people like this design. I don't like this one at all. I like Licky Licky that we got in Gen 4 way better than this. These three, I believe, were supposed to be the legendary dogs, and that's even more proof that these things were originally supposed to be dogs, or maybe even wolves. Look at that. The middle one, Entei, I'm guessing that was supposed to be Entei way back in the day, looks more like a wolf than a dog. But I'd also be fine with the design for Entei and Raikou, but Suicune looks like a poodle that's having a really bad, like, wet hair day. Overall, I'm glad that they chose the designs that they actually went ahead with. I feel like they put a lot of time and effort into creating creating those really good designs, because I feel like those are some of the best designs that Gen 2 has to offer. Again, the first two work, but Suicune, nah, -uh, no thanks. Now this next Pokemon that was cut is really throwing me off, I'm not sure what this was supposed to be, because it's in the middle of the legendaries for this generation. You see Suicune to the left, you see Ho-Oh to the right, and then this little badger looking thing in the middle definitely doesn't look legendary to me. Maybe, if anything, this was supposed to be Sneasel back in the day? I, I'm i not really sure. I'm, I don't really like this design too much. It's cute, but it's not too special. I think this next Pokemon was supposed to become Apom. It looks totally different from Apom, and the only way that... I stared at it for a good, like, 30 seconds trying to figure out what this thing is, and the only way I think this might be Apom is because of the hand tail, which really seems a lot like Apom to me. And the last leaked Pokemon looks like it might be Leafeon. Yeah, it looks a lot like an, a leaf, a grass type Eevee evolution, and this would eventually become Leafeon. I guess they decided that they didn't want to have three Eevee evolutions in this game, and they didn't want to just have a grass type evolution by itself, because they were doing Psychic and then Dark, and then grass is kind of strange to have by itself in this generation. I feel like they did good by waiting a little bit longer and actually coming out with Leafeon in Gen 4, because I like the design we got in Gen 4 a little bit better. Alright my friends, and those are the 
the leaked Pokemon designs from the Generation 2 Pokemon Gold 1997 demo. And if you think about that, that's absolutely insane. This came out in 1997. I bet most of you guys watching this weren't even born in 1997. That's how old this demo is. And up until now, it's just been lost. We never thought we'd get to see it. But now we do, and it had so much information. There's even gameplay that you could go ahead and do, the maps programmed in the game. But anyway guys, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these designs was your favorite. If there were any Pokemon that you saw cuts that you wish would have actually made it into the final games. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon videos just like this. And guys, I'll be seeing you in the next one.